Ai, mãe. All right. Well, here's another video. <laughs> Your head turns around backwards. <laughs> So, anyways, in this video, we're just going to shake our heads at each other and swirl our mouths around. See how many screen tears we can get. So, pretty much everything has changed since last time. Uh, this is a whole new world. Whole new everything. <laughs> Still, still playing on the monitor that my brother got. I did finally get to order me a new monitor. It's supposedly coming in soon, I hope. We'll get that set up. And right now, I'm sure my brother is wondering when I'm going to say something about all this clicking you hear. But I did buy a different keyboard as well bought it used but anyway I'm trying to get all my stuff set up and get get into the PC expensive world that's what it should be called right yeah might as well be because stuff is expensive <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> uh, we have some villagers we cured did cure the villagers did we did we show them in the last video i think in our last video the guy was in the house still a zombie pretty sure so we did collect more and i'll just go ahead and say like i did plan on recording more than what i have kind of feel like crap that uh, I've done so much and haven't recorded a video but we have done a lot uh, I'm sure it's just my kids are the only ones that watch my videos anyway so probably the villagers bumping into each other down there But, with that said, you can believe me or not, on being survival, whatever. I mean, it's not like we have everything. At least one of us don't. Yeah. yeah. But we do have books now. We do have villagers. I set up this little breeder here. You've, I don't know if you've seen it. No, you probably hadn't seen it in my videos before. But it's simple. Not my design. Pretty much 130% of everything I build is not my design. So, I'm not going to go into that. But we do have villagers. They're down here. You can hear them. I don't know how many is down there now. That's one, two, I don't know. There's seven or eight down there. You know what? That wasn't supposed to help you. Thank you. I mean, was you trying to pour it on top of a ladder? Because, you know, a ladder blocks water. It can be waterlogged. But, you know, when you pour it on top of it, it kind of doesn't work. But but good job. Nice try. Here, have that. Yeah. <laughs> so we got villagers, and we did trade over here. 
made this one mainly for my brother. This guy here. Looting three for eight emeralds and a book for me. And he does have smite four for 12 emeralds. And I did make this sword with smite five because I added that book to it. Oh, Jesus. So we have that. We have done a lot of enchanting. With all our gear. Mine's still pretty bad. Uh, the only good thing I have on as far as armor is my boots. All the rest of my stuff is pretty low tier. Still have our picks. Uh, sword. Too many levels. It took a lot of... I probably got... 60 or 70 levels no actually about 90 levels at least because I added the smite 4 book on top of all that to make it smite 5 anyway uh, <laughs> efficiency 5 axe uh, shovel is the one my brother made did put mending you see I guess that's something new all the mending Yes, we do have a mending villager. And my brother seems to have this, which is a netherite helmet. That's a better a lot better than my helmet. So he has that and does have a sword and holy cow. <laughs> Sharpness five, sweeping edge. A lot. It's got a lot. Uh, netherite, all netherite stuff. I haven't done any netherite things yet because that's something else that I have to show you. Over here is our mending guy. And do you have the, where's that chest at with the books? So over here. Looting, looting, mending, and these are random enchantments that books we either found or in a table, I guess, enchantment table. Mending, so this is our cheat chest, I guess you could say. That's what Rebel said it was. When everybody comes back to the video, they're going to think we cheated, which that's fine. Whatever, think what you want. <coughs> And here we have a lot of quartz. I can explain that in a minute. We do have emeralds. Over here I'll show you the villager that has the mending. Put him in a, his own little house here. His own little hut. No, this is not my design either. This guy mending for one emerald and he gives me all the mending books I need that's his only book trade the end trade is a name tag but this is the villager that was in the house his name's Bob but he'll trade paper books for emeralds get lanterns uh, that sort of thing here's his little setup it's fancy you can walk in he can't get out that door because there's carpet his head hits the wood he can't get out <clears throat> so there's that little house I did put some of the little shroom lights I think they are in the little fountains there just try to decorate a little bit make it pretty Anything else we need to show them here or go to the nether? The heads. We got a couple more heads since the last time. Oh, yeah. Well, you have. I've been unlucky and haven't got very many. But you got a different kind, didn't you? I'll show them the other mob heads. In this chest, we do have these. 
and the uh, wandering trader sold me these the the blocks of gravel and cobblestone blocks and all that i did finally get two squid heads and then my brother got all the other like the cave spider the sheep the slime and all that good stuff have a few cow heads a dolphin's head that wasn't me i'm telling you that dolphin wasn't me so we have here in this chest we have three more things some wither skulls we're gonna fight the wither that'll be in a different video and this right here all the ancient debris so now you think we're really cheating but i promise you we are not a lot of digging that is a lot of digging so we do have that i will up upgrade my stuff to another right eventually i'm not i don't want to do it right now just i just don't want to right now but that's where all the quartz come from all these quartz block was digging in the nether trying to find this stuff right here and if you get on the good line you can find it pretty good but if you don't boy it's something so yeah one piece every thousand blocks yeah it's it's bad and we didn't do, well we did a little bit of tnt we found how many seven eight something like that i don't even think it was that many I think five or six i think yeah it was i mean it was okay but not sure if it's worth the tnt blasting to find it i mean it may be our strategy might have been not that good but we did do some tnt blasting got some but the rest of it is dug up just with our pickaxes the thing about the tnt blasting or bed blasting whichever you choose to do there's a big problem with that due to the fact of uh, you're going to have so much lava pouring in on your tunnel area that you're just going to have a lot of extra work for yourself to patch all that up to get it out of the way. Yeah, it, it's bad. A lot of lava. But anyway, there's some eggs. That's why you hear the chickens underground. We're saving those for the wither. Maybe try to get some wither roses that way. Or we can just cheat them in like we did everything else, right? Yeah, I mean, how long? Sure. You know. After this video, I mean, you know. <laughs> you did see, I'm pretty sure this was in the last video of all this you done. It should have been. And here, this is our original spawn. I did dig it out a little bit. Uh, let's see which one where you want to go first mob farm get that over with I did make us a little trail here I don't know about doing all the paths this way but I like this one goes up of course up there you can see there's bedrock there so we're at the top of the nether we're at level 119 so dug up here reason being is our mob farm is up in the air I know it's not as efficient up in the air but we're doing the best we could do to get levels to do the enchanting that we wanted to do so we're here to have a few more mob heads there and all this stuff that we collected this is how we made our TNT we had the sand and got our gunpowder from here from this thing so that's how we keep our stuff for now keep it repaired and do all of our enchanting and things over here uh, brought some diamonds over all that good stuff and still cooking up some stone for this stuff but if you stay down here it does work pretty well if you give it a few minutes you can hear them falling 
so it's not the prettiest thing but that's one reason our portal is so high in the nether because I was trying to help it link easier to up here so this is just a big floating box up in the sky it's out in the middle of a deep ocean it's not really anything around us there's one island way over here I think I don't even know if it'll load in it's not even gonna load in but there's an island way over there and the rest of it's just ocean so it sure isn't the best setup but and when I first because I went in the nether it made the portal first and came out and I came out down there in that there's one of those ruined portals by the way over there but yeah so I had to swim up that and come up here to make the portal so there's our mob farm it's not the best but it works and that ancient debris I pretty much found out that you can pretty much dig anywhere in the nether and you're, you have a chance of finding it basically So, should you, what should we do? Spectator? Uh, it's a long run over there. It's a long way. So, I'm going spectator. Maybe I can show y'all this. Yes, we're cheating. Whatever. So, down here, was it down that hole or a different one? Where are you going? To the, where we dug out for the netherite. Uh, it wasn't down that way. I think it was down this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Down this long hallway. Down on the ground here. All the way down. This was fun, by the way coming out in all this stuff trying to dig your way down and then I come way down here under this ground down this tunnel over a huge huge lava lake then finally went down again and here we are so we dug all this out this is kind of our last last ditch efforts uh, and digging kind of just digging everything but our tunnels if you can see our tunnels yeah here's our tunnels that we dug so I think they mainly go off this direction and as you can see like we didn't cheat to find the dang nether rack you can't see it if it's a solid block you see through it and if you know about the Minecraft update, then you also know that Netherite, it's in game code that it's never supposed to be exposed to an air block. So it will be covered with Netherrack or some sort of something. So you can't just go in Spectator and look for it. It doesn't work that way. But we have all these tunnels, and I think those leading off the side there are even longer than these, but they go on for a long time. A long, long time. So, yeah. I'm not sure is. Jesus Christ. Do I? The one I just went on way is, that's for sure. Look, there's still floating nether rack where we dug out down here. <laughs> wow, it just keeps going, yeah. So yes everyone. This is legit. I 
I don't know why I feel I have to say that, but and it just keeps going. I don't know if it's going to end. I'm a long way. There's more than a, it's more than another rack just left behind. <laughs> There's some gold we left. Pockets are full. And then, of course, we get into big lava lakes and get tired of digging around. So, and it keeps going this way. So, yeah, I'm going, that's as far as I'm going. Boy, there's a lot of lava in the nether, isn't it? Yeah. Martin, which one of us dug this tunnel? I think this might be the tunnel you were just on. I may have just cheated. Here is a nether fortress that we haven't been to. That's not good. We dug underneath it. Where's our line? Yeah, where's our line? Yeah, this is definitely the tunnel you were just in. Oh, well, the looky there, folks. Boy, did I lie. But it's not against the air block. I just seen... You'll see it on my video. But there's two pieces of nether rack sitting right there. But guys, this is lava. It's not an air block. And I'm not going to get those, that's for sure. Do you know there's mushrooms growing on top of the nether? Uh, yes, sir. I didn't know that was a thing. Yep. So here's our staircase somewhere. Somewhere. We dug out a lot. You just went into a bastion, that's good. Yeah, that's one I've only seen but haven't actually went into. Well, I'm completely lost. Can you teleport to me? There you go. So, I'm kind of lost too. Here's a, this is our tunnel back here. There it is, our staircase. Goes up here, right here. There's our cobble. And here's our portal. Game mode survival. So, yep. Yeah. There's all that. Another boring video. Just like they're all the rest, right? Uh, I think that's about it. If you keep going this way. We do have a portal set up out in the desert that so we can get sand and stuff and make our glass because Rebel was wanting to make our walkways or the one walkway out to the fortress to be glass, right? You still want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to need, need quite a bit of glass. But, uh, did you dig up that nether rod that was back there? Yeah, two oh. pieces. Oh, that's, that's great. It's dark. Well, we'll go through. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so this is it. We don't want to load that village too long, but there's a village right over there. And another one 
I think that direction. It's not loading in. No, boy. Oh, boy. Don't do that. So, yep. We'll come here, get our sand. And it'll be all fine and dandy. Ugh. I pretty much think that's about it. All we've done since last video. Mainly just digging in the nether for days to find netherite. <laughs> so. Anything else you can think of we need to show them? Not at this point in time, I don't believe. I think that's about it. Like. It seems like a lot, but mainly it's just been digging, hasn't it? Yeah. To get, I mean, we got the netherite and things like that's big, but we spent a few days just digging in the nether. At least two or three days we spent in here. Spider jockey. You're a terrible shot, sir. Now you're on fire. So that's about all I know. Kind of upped our sugar cane. There's some Enderman over there. Um, upped our sugar cane to get that for trading. So we're going to work, or I plan to work on getting the villagers situated, find out what trades we want, all that good stuff. And. Anything else? Feels like there's something else. I think so. I mean, this down here, I didn't tell them we made this, but they seen it. Like, our little storage got a bunch of chests set up, trying to get everything organized. Because our house was getting overrun with boxes and all that stuff. So, there's some smelters. We got some nether rack going to make the red nether brick to use in the, the uh, nether for the pathways, I guess. And so, well, I guess this is my cheating machine here, if you want to call it that. Because anybody that sees the video is going to be like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> So yes, I do have a rail duplicator. I don't care. I duplicate rails. There you go. Simple design gives you rails. Whoop de do. So call me a cheater. Just don't call me Shirley. Because I'm serious. <laughs> Where'd you go? Did you leave? Getting some sugar cane. Get some sugar cane. So anyway, uh, we are gonna. I am gonna make a video. While we fight the wither, we'll see how that turns out. Might be a short video. Because in my experience with Java, the nether, uh, the nether, <laughs> the wither really isn't that much. I kind of over prepared for it the last time. Uh, it's not like bedrock for sure. 
or uh, the PlayStation 4 version of the game that people used to have. Or I did. I mean, I was the only one, but, you know. <clears throat> they would just absolutely wreck your face. So, look forward to that, I hope. Thank you for watching the videos. And with that said, I think that'll be all. <laughs> okay. Ending the video. No, I'll end it now. <laughs> I gotta end the video. That was, I didn't mean, that was my. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway thank you for tuning in hope you enjoyed have a good one and I will see you next time